In Whiterun, mostly. Ennis handles the business arrangements, but I know that he has a few purchasers who give us a fair price. Ennis prides himself on his shrewd business schemes. For my part, I'm far happier working with cattle and crops than with people. Goodbye. Until next time. Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in Whiterun, they might know me. You talked to Raldith yet? She's like a mother to me. That's weird. Lydia, you're looking full creep in that outfit. Can you please take that off? If you're thinking of setting up to farm, you pick the right place. How will you protect yourself against the dragons? How can we? We're a community of farmers, not fighting men. If not for the war, we might have enough guards in the hold to protect the settlements. That the dragons should return now is most unfortunate. It's like old, thinner me. How did a Breton like yourself come to dwell in Warwickstead? Have you met Rorik? He owns these lands, and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I'm happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. Your farms are thriving, even despite the harsh climate. What's your secret? Secret? What makes you think there's a secret? There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work, good fortune, and the blessings of the gods. Ding, 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 ding. Last one. Take care now. RK has blessed your crops. That's how it, how it is. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. <gasps> Do you need help, citizen? I'm sworn to help you. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I've heard those I hope you could change his mind. Been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Go talk to his father. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Hello. Ah! Oh, you frighten me, traveler. You shouldn't just greet someone unexpectedly. I do it all the time. No one seems to mind. There well, they could just be very polite. Or blind or something. Okay, so maybe it is just me getting spooked. The Stormcloaks used to say the same, but I have a good reason to be... So you're a Stormcloak? Was a Stormcloak. Now I'm just an ordinary shut-in, never going to leave this inn, as long as Meraki is willing to have me. Maybe I can marry his son, and then they'll let me stay here forever. Eric is all mine, girl. You can't have him. Then you're married? Meraki never told me. Maybe Meraki's looking to remarry. I won't have to leave then. Ever. Why are you so afraid of leaving? I'm cursed. It's been with me since I was a young child. It's the only explanation for what happened at Helgen. Were you at Helgen when the dragon attacked? No. This was before. I just sworn the oath. But, as one of the less talented sisters, I was tasked mostly with retrieving supplies from the city. It happened on a Morndas. I was traveling on the road west to Helgen, and pearls of snow began to pelt my brow. I no sooner blinked when the snowstorm came thundering from above. Except, 
There was a piece of black crouched further down the road. A woman wearing a hooded robe, holding a small child. Really? If such a child dies, it proves it was too weak for this world. Maybe so, but it wasn't dead yet. Or so I had hoped. I have a letter for you from Alhem of Whiterun. Thank you, here, this is for you. Thanks. You have to leave this end eventually. No, I'll starve to death first. I am a daughter of Skyrim. I don't fear death, I fear fear and spiders. But everyone's afraid of crawlies. By the divines, I think there's a spider on your neck. Ah, ah, get it off of me! Wait, I don't feel anything. That's a mean trick. What could possibly happen to you? Oh, lots of things. Although they usually happen at night. And when I'm alone. But I can't take that chance of them happening when others are around. I'd go out and help Redleth pick out cabbage heads. Only they wouldn't be cabbage heads. They'd be the heads of little children. Then maybe Ragnar will ride by, still making the journey to Whiteborn as a headless phantom. Or maybe I'd visit Rorik's manor, and that bear he has mounted on his wall will come alive and reach down and bite him, right while he's cooking. Even here there are times I feel like my presence is a danger. Sometimes when I look up at the animals mounted above Milwaukee, I see the eyes move. As if someone were looking at me from behind them. What brought this curse on? It's always been a part of me. You see... My mother told me that I nearly died in childbirth. Bad kitty. As a result, part of my soul was close to the void, and the wandering dead were drawn to me in their confusion. Yet, she told me not to worry. As long as my heart was full of life, it would fill that empty part of my soul and ward off the dead. Her advice was unnecessary, as a child's spirit is as stout as Shore's bones. It wasn't until I was a girl of twelve, my heart broken by a boy I loved, that at first I yearned for death. Oh, those boys, so cruel, just like men. Yes, I thought he loved me, but I was nothing but a toy for his amusement. Mm hmm. Tell me about he it, girl. Deeper than any sword, and hurt me more than any loss I could ever experience as a woman grown. Funny as it is to say, there is nothing more emotionally wrenching than a young girl experiencing her first heartbreak. I wanted to die more than anything, and our case all fit to grant my wish. After your heart was broken, the curse came for you? Indeed. That night, as I lay in my bed, the air was so cold, and even in the middle of the sun's height, I huddled under the covers, trying to stave off the cold. I had reached a point where I felt I could sleep, when I heard it. The breathing. What did you do? No matter how much I shrunk into my covers, I couldn't avoid that foul hiss, but I dare not look. Then came the sound of footsteps walking to my door. I was about to go into shock when I heard my mother's voice. I leapt out of bed and ran to the door, flinging it open, and there she was. My mother, holding a candle, and standing over her shoulder, was a wraith. Stop the core. You had your own room? Are you some noble's daughter? My mother was a servant, and had yet to finish her duties to our lord. The boy who broke my heart was the nobleman's son. Oh, honey. He was slumming. You can't get involved in that. How'd you kill the wraith? I didn't. I did what my mother always told me to do. I wanted to live, then more than any other time, as two lives were on the line. And it worked. Until I became a Stormcloak. I think all that talk of dying and going to Sovngarde brought it all back. You found the woman on the road. Did you try to speak to her? I called out to her. You think about staying the night? I was relieved when she stood up. But the relief was short-lived. She scurried off into the forest. 
was no place for a child. The sun was dimming, and in the winter, the night is as fast as it is long. The air was cold, but not the kind of cold that pimples your skin. No, this cold was raw enough that you could feel it pass through your teeth, even when your mouth was closed. Newborn babe is alone in the forest is a scary proposition. As I said, no place for a child. So I hurried after her. Best I could tell, she was headed towards Orphan Rock. The one place every Nord child in Helgen fears. Orphan Rock? Dangerous place, not exactly child's play. Aye, a Hagraven's nest. But it isn't Hagraven's that made this story. It was Nord men and women telling tales to get their children to pray to the Nine. The story went that if you forgot to pray, Arkay would send Hagraven to snatch you from your bed. Mm -hmm. Children were told that all the witches that hunt Orphan Rock were once boys and girls like them. Mm -hmm. As a young woman grown, I've long since outlived such juvenile tales, but my hand couldn't help but reach for my weapon. I see. It still sounds fairly mundane. What happened to Orphan Rock? Darkness set in. I bit my lip, trying to keep my focus on the woman and the child. I followed their tracks through the narrow passageway formed by the rock. But when I came out on the other side, the trail had vanished. So they vanished or something vanished them? What, what then? I found myself standing in a plot to follow dirt, on... empty save a rock marker. I called out again to the woman, but there came no answer. Then I called out once more, and then came a reply. Subscribe with Twitch it Prime! It was a knock, like knuckles rapping against a door. And with each knock, the noise grew louder. No, not louder, closer. I swiveled around, and in my panic I dropped my mace. It wasn't until I'd reached for it that I saw it. Saw what? The snow jumping off the dirt, as if the knocking wasn't coming from behind me, but beneath. Higher and higher, until it was right under my feet. And that's when the clouds shifted, and the moonlight lit the marker in front of me. It wasn't a rock marker. It was a grave marker. <gasps> By the divines, what did you do? I did what any sane Nord would have done. I ran. When I got back to the camp, the quartermaster demanded to know where I'd been, and what had happened to the supplies. In truth, no explanation would suffice. It's just as well. Because even I can't explain what was under my feet that night. Whatever it was, it was scary. And I think I need a change of clothes. Me too. It's such a haunting story. I think I soil myself every time I tell it. Farewell. That's what that smell is. Uh, what kind of music do you play? I play Nord music mostly. They don't like it when I play anything else. Can I make a request? What can I do for you? I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out... Um, a warrior's life. You have excellent taste, my friend. I will be honored to play such a tune. I'd like to talk to you about your son. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? You should let your son choose the life he wants. 
But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. You'd prefer your son to grow better and resent you? Perhaps you should let a father decide what is best for his own son. Find the money or I will smite you with the power of our K. Oh, I see. Uh, just remember that I saved a few septums in case of an emergency. This is starting to feel like one. Tell Eric that I've changed my mind. And we'll visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. And please, don't hurt me. Oh, I won't. As long as you follow in our case path. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bark. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I will eat that food, the bread soup. Did you have any luck talking to my Your father? Your father changed his mind. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. If, Until next time. If you're not dead. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we can swap stories or swap something. Let's go back to our castle, our, uh, my lands. Drop off some of the supplies I picked up along the way. Well, we can swap prime subs. You can click on the sub button on my channel and subscribe for you by clicking this purple sub button, and I can do the same for him. Be perfect. Yes, my Thane? I need you to do something. As you command. What do you need? Okay. Got chop it. wood. Anything else? Go chop wood. Okay, we have 19 more. I still need some more. Need some more other. I need, I need a smelter. Blacksmith. 10 iron ingots, 40 iron fittings. 40 iron fittings. That seems like a lot. a ton. Forsworn construction techniques. Make sure to pull your bow all the way back to get the most power out of your shot.
What? What the hell is she? I need a ton more iron. Oh my god, so much more iron. Son of a biscuit. Well, luckily there's a couple of spots that we can go to get some. Lydia? Let me know if you have anything you need from me. Of course, sir. I told you to do firewood. You don't. You didn't even get any for me. I'm officially mad at you. Get going. It's my favorite song on the soundtrack. It's so good. I've got your back. I am at your command. Yeah, the dwar the Dwemer are a very, very advanced race of people. But they started tinkering with things they shouldn't. And they all freaking disappeared. <laughs> Just What's funny about the Dwemer is one day they could just all show up again like like that cuz no one knows exactly where they went or more importantly when they went so just one day they could just all of a sudden back into existence Or wherever they went, think someone could figure out how to get back. That'd be interesting. I believe the drummer were tinkering with the body of a dead god and then the heart of the dead god and them doing that is what caused them all to just vanish. Just whoops. Let's go ahead and chop some firewood while we're here. Lord knows we need tons of it. Uh, name of the camp mod? Do you mean the mod that lets you camp anywhere? Because I don't have that one installed. I think it's called Camp Fire or something. If you're talking about this place we're in right now, this is the LC Build Your Own Noble House mod. That lets you build a big noble city like 
hearth fire, but better. You know what I would love for the next Elder Scrolls is if... If they want to incorporate building into it, which they probably will, is have it so that you are trying to set up a city somewhere that's not where there is no city and you only have one city you don't have it all over the place just one place that you build things up over time and then you have to recruit people you have to find recipes for buildings and decorations for your place it would be a lot of fun like imagine the Leg legacy of the dragonborn mod but as a city that you build from scratch. Kind of like Fallout, but instead of building like a scrap, a scrappy, nasty looking place, like when you, it'd be like Hearth, Hearthfire, where when you build the building, it's in a set spot the developers hand place so that way it looks nice. Not like Fallout, where you can build a random custom mesh together thing. So like you have plots and you decide, oh, I want the inn to go here. And I want this looking inn. And then you can upgrade the inn later. And then etc, etc, etc. You gotta go recruit a, a general merchant. Then a blacksmith. Then like guards and you can find recipes and dungeons for different furniture types and buildings and they can have decorations where you mount like the heads of some big enemy you you felled or something now you can set up trading routes that way your merchants get supplied with supplies from this city and then that city and it'd be fun you can set up trade routes. And your city can get attacked by people. Freaking Lydia doing Lydia stuff. Why is Dan the Paladin, Protector of the Realm, Smiter of Evil, Banisher of the Undead? First, it was named Chopping Firewood because I'm putting in the hard work that's required to build up my castle. Right now, my castle is just wooden walls and a tent, but it's going to be a big castle someday. And I got to put in the hard work to get there. I need a bastion of righteousness from which to do my holy smiting. Sky is so gorgeous. It's so weird that you're mining clay with a pick. It's like, hmm. Okay, then.
And that posture for swinging that has got to be part of the lower back. Creeping over there, Lydia? What are you doing? And then the stone. It's right here. Yep. Stone time. Tap. 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 She's guarding my ass, I think. Need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. What the stench of bitch? Oh, we were fighting wolves. What? We were fighting wolves. Tap, tap. Hopefully that's enough to last us a while. Whoops, wrong, wrong direction. Anything that I can build right now? Carpenter. Straw hinges, lock, and leather. than what I have. Quite a bit more. Dum 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 da dee 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 dum. Alright, Lydia. Let's just be off. We must go get more iron. There is a iron mine that we can go to, and there's evildoers there. <clears throat> so we can multitask. Behind you! There is, should be like right there. Over that way.
do. Oh dear God. What the hell did he just summon? Dread zombie, soul trap, vampire dust. Ooh. That was creepy. He summoned something with big dragon wings. Looks like he summoned a vampire lord or something. That was creepy. To the max. Tap, tap, tap. I know that, that demon thing he summoned was kind of like the Night King. Just lasted one night. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Werewolf! Oh, God! Those guys hit really hard. Like, damn, level hard. Yeah, werewolves are a uh, get the fuck out of there kind of enemy. What fun I'm using, whatever's in the guide. I know that Script Extender is on, um, is now available for us, for, um, Special Edition. You can now switch over. Most of the good mods have been ported, and ones that haven't, you can port them yourself. It's not very difficult. It's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorland Greymane. What was that? <laughs> That's the last of it. The hell is that? No, it's a it's a tower, but what's Why is there a tower in the air? I need to, I need to go up there and see what that is. It might be a mod conflict. What 
mod would cause this to be up here like that? Some mod put this here, and I don't know why. It's weird it's not there this time. The door is though. Like I reloaded it now, the, the thing is gone except for the door. I'll turn off the door. That's, I don't know what would be causing that. Okay, well, it's fixed now. I don't know what the hell that was. That was weird. Some sort of random glitch. I don't know what would cause something to spawn in the center of the game like that. So random. So untagged. Oh. Lydia, good job, girl. 
Raw humanoid flesh. Big mud crabs. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Dead old giant crab battle. Rough garnet. Tip, tip. No mud crabs having mud crabs having top hats is not immersive. What was that? Ha, found you. Silver guardian. Oh. <laughs> Uh, clipping the pickaxe and attacking its way slower than just simply clicking the E button one time and you're done. See some more iron over there. There is the bandit camp. Is someone there? That's right, run, you fox. Got him. Firefly. Not Firefly, Dragonfly, I mean. If it was Firefly, it would be canceled. Being useful. I hear it. There it is. Go ahead and make a backup save. Oh, little ducks. How cute. Cute little ducks. Aww. Oh. Come on. Got him. Soul may be unclean, but you're still worthy of RK's blessing. He's more forgiving than I. Uh, 
Uh, minor sure grip. Two handed attacks do more damage. Mammoth snap. Yeah, there should be lots of iron in here for our home. Let's go inside. Very quietly. Lydia? Yes, my thing? Wait here. I will remain on guard here. Is your lip okay? You to stay over there, lady. Cancel on general good merchants keeper for better prices. Shouting restores health magic equal to your shout cooldown seconds. You speak to your shouting based on your shout cooldown. Told you to wait over there, Lydia. <laughs> Good. Need iron. Are you watching Sony State of Play stream 15 minutes? No. The last time it was a complete waste of time. I'll wait for it to be over and then if people say it's good or worth watching, then I'll watch it. Last time it was it was like, why am I watching this? PlayStation VR, PlayStation VR, PlayStation VR. Tusks. Oh, damn. They're not only are they um, killing people as bandits, they're also poachers. Makes me mad. FX at the bottom. It really needs to be if it's not. Doesn't look like it is. I think it's getting its changes getting overwritten. What was that? Lights and FX. Three hundred.
Okay, move that way down here. That one's way at the top, which is, should be at the bottom. It's lighting changes are getting overwritten by other things, which is bad. It's like, this does not look like it's correct. So I would swap, I put, I moved the lighting mod to the bottom so that way the lighting changes don't get overwritten. Something odd, odd's going on in this cave. I think something over, overwrote it. Or it could be the same when I reload. We'll see. the same so there's heavy fog in here it's the problem Time to hit this little uh oh how skin you alive shall idea watch it Lydia oh shit I think this cave is chock full of fog, which is the problem. And there's this haze in this whole place. Hello? No one Who's there? there? Oh. Come on. You oh my god. Oh, damn. <laughs> A bandit chief, Lydia. Watch out, Lydia. What was that? You're a fool. Oh my god. Getting utterly wrecked. Ah! <laughs> Holy Gotta shit. This guy's kicking my ass. Oh my god. That guy's two-hander hits so hard. So hard. 